August set up with a few of those showers and storms each afternoon. Now in the tropics, I was talking about the couple of waves, actually three waves that we've been kind of looking at. First, let's just take them one by one. This one right here, you can see the clouds and showers with this one. Chance of development for this one in five days, 10% or less. This one does not look like it's going to develop. It will generally head over into the northern Caribbean or kind of southern part of the Atlantic there, but we're not expecting that to develop. It'll have some um, hindrances to it. This one, it will have to watch. It has a 40% chance of development. We won't have to watch for a big threat for our area, but just for potential development. And then our final one is just now coming off the coast of Africa near the Cabo Verde Islands. This one has a 30% chance of development in five days. So really the one that we would watch here would be kind of a, maybe a spin off of that low, making it somewhere near the Bahamas, but probably at least some of the models have it kind of curving off to the north before it even reaches the US. You can see otherwise this is going all the way out to next Monday on our long range map of atmospheric rotation. Really nothing uh, showing up extremely noticeable, especially for the Gulf. So certainly we will watch the waves, but at this point the long range models don't bring them to our part of the Gulf Coast and uh, hopefully not uh, bringing a lot of trouble to the US or of course to any of the islands or any land areas don't really need any um, really strong winds and showers and storms and uh, things like that to deal with. But it does look like at least in the next several days, things will probably stay on the quieter side. It's more long term that we might see that middle wave kind of becoming beginning to form a bit. So our seven day forecast for us, very typical August weather temperatures topping out near 94, 90.